Hey, it's Felice, totally awake, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, then welcome. Be sure to go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you like it, Spos and Coats, welcome. Join us, okay? Now, I wanted to talk about um, this shooting that took place at a Kingdom Hall in Colorado. A man shot his wife and then turned the gun on himself and shot himself. I'm going to go ahead and play this news clip. Here, check it was it a murder-suicide in Thornton over the weekend. Now, we've learned three incendiary devices were found at that Jehovah's Witness Hall where it happened. That's where police say a husband killed his wife and then himself. Our Olivia Young covers Adams County for you and reports from that house of worship. This Thornton church was the scene of a Christmas morning tragedy when a former congregation member threw multiple pipe bomb like devices through this window behind me and then shot his wife and then himself here in the parking lot. Around 9 a.m. Sunday, Thornton police say the window to Kingdom Hall of Jehovah's Witnesses was broken when the explosive devices were thrown inside. Luckily, the bombs did not detonate, but caused a small fire which police responded to. Only one person was inside the building preparing for services, and they were not harmed. The man who threw the explosives then shot and killed the woman with him and then himself in the parking lot. Congregation members arriving for the Sunday service found the bodies. Thornton police say the couple never entered the church or attempted to shoot anyone else. The Adams County Coroner's Office has not yet named the deceased couple, but we know they were married and used to be members of the Kingdom Hall congregation. Thornton police say it's not clear whether the couple was working together or if the husband acted alone and the wife was a victim. Now, the building was released back to its owners late Christmas night after Adams County's hazardous materials team did a sweep to make sure there were no more explosive devices inside. Representatives from Kingdom Hall declined an interview today, but did tell me they're working on getting things cleaned up so that services can resume on Wednesday. In Thornton, I'm Olivia Young covering Colorado First. Wow. First of all, this is horrible news. So sad. Um, th this shouldn't have happened. You know, it's, it's so sad when anyone loses their life. Um, my heart goes out to the ones that lost their life and also their families and their, their friends. Um, you know, and in the XJW community, we can't help but to speculate, especially when they say in the report that they were former members of the congregation or they used to be members of the congregation. Well, we know what that means. That means that they are being shunned, you know. I'm pretty sure they got that piece of information from one of the active Jehovah's Witnesses. And they made sure to tell the news reporters or, or the police or whomever that these were former members, okay, you know, kind of making themselves um, like, you know, let me wash my hands of it. Let me clear my name. Let me clear Jehovah's name. OK, <laughs> I don't want to bring reproach on Jehovah's name. So I'm going to make sure they know that these were former members of the congregation. They, they, they ain't no longer with us. OK, but in actuality, you make yourself look suspicious. You make Anybody want to dig deeper and find out, well, wait a minute, what do you mean? Especially us XJWs, because once again, we already know what that what that means. When you tell us that they were former members, there's there, that's suspicious. We raise not eyebrow, okay, when you say they were former members. You know, this, it seems like to me, I mean, and we can speculate all kind of ways. We don't have the details right now. We don't even know. They haven't even been identified, you know, and it doesn't seem like from a few different news reports that I've looked at, like uh, the Jehovah's Witnesses are wanting to give a lot of information. Um, and that may just be because they, they don't want to, they don't want to be a part of it. They, they want to have as less to do with it as possible to try to keep their name as, as clean as possible. Um, when they do have something to do with it, because if they were being shunned, then they I'm, I'm pretty sure this has a whole lot to do with uh, them being shunned and the rules and policies that the Jehovah's Witnesses have in place for their members and former members to follow. OK, so. 
there's like nothing really that anybody can say to us as ex Jehovah's Witnesses to make us think that, you know, Watchtower is innocent in this matter. Like, they are definitely uh, blood guilty. And in in my opinion, because of their rules and their doctrine, the shunning, as we know, you know, people have committed suicide over their shunning, being shunned by their family, all of their friends that they've ever known their entire life, shunning them all because they perhaps made a mistake and the elders in the congregation deemed them to be unrepentant. <laughs> You know, so these people kill themselves because that's harsh treatment to just have everybody that you've ever known just cut you off, just treat you like you're not even there. OK, so, you know, that's a motive alone. If somebody especially is mentally unstable, which that's a whole nother story, you know, that, that that's a whole other story. When we talk about being mentally unstable, these people do not encourage people to get help. So I don't know what the motive was behind this. I don't, we don't know what happened, but when they are talking about bombs was thrown in there and the window was broke, it really makes you wonder, you know, was this all planned? Were they trying to make a statement or was one of them trying to make a statement? But it screams Watchtower's fault. It screams it's all because of the shunning. People are amazed that more people more often haven't tried to pull things like this. More and more people are, you know, going to want to start getting revenge. I mean, Tony Morris and David Splain and Samuel Hurd and, you know, Jeffrey Jackson and all of them, they better watch out because they cannot continue to ruin people's lives, okay? Ruin people's families, okay? And expect people to not take some form of revenge. This can become very dangerous if they continue to break up families the way they do. And, uh, you know, basically demonize people just because they found out that they're demonic. OK, your cult, the cult is demonic and they don't want to be a part of it anymore. I mean, come on. This religion protects pedos with the two witness rule. They do not report CSA. OK, there are so many suicides happening in the organization because of their shunning policies. They are ruining families left and right throughout the years, throughout the decades, okay, since they started their shunning right after they, you know, bashed the Catholics in the 1950s for their excommunications. And then they said, oh, let's do the same thing as them. And it's all a form of control. This is their way of controlling their members. And see, the public may not understand. They may think that, oh, they're nice people. And I'm going to show another news clip later and give, give some more commentary on this. But they think that we're, oh, they're just nice people. They're, they're not, though. They shun their own kids. And they push people over the edge. They push people to want to do some crazy stuff like this. We wouldn't be surprised if this had all to do with, you know, this young man, you know, being so distraught because he and his wife was being shunned. What are they wanting to do? Like, they threw bombs in the kingdom hall? Y'all better start changing y'all policies because, you know, it's getting real out here. I'm not going to say too much more about it right this moment, but we are going to talk about it some more in this channel, okay? I'm going to keep going. So make sure to like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, leave your comments and thoughts down below, and I'll be back with another one, all right? It's Felice, Totally Awake. Bye.